Today I'm just, yeah, it's just me, myself and I, maybe with Jupiter. Today I'm with Jupiter. Say hello, Jupiter. Yeah, but Jupiter can say except to me, I know. Today we're gonna talk about some real but it's not gonna be so heavy like a lecture or a PhD thing, all right? So stay there, stay right there, don't change. Stay right there, don't pause, don't pause, okay? Continue. I'm watching you. Before starting, wait, I'm sorry. Jesus is long! Well, well. So I'm gonna talk about single plastic use in Japan, but before addressing the issue in Japan only, I have to talk about uh, a little bit of history of the plastic, all right? Stay with me, all right? So as you guys may know, from the 18th century, that was the 19th century, sorry. Yeah, the 19th century. I've been reading about this and now I just forgot. Ah! So from the beginning of the 19th century, industrialization and all this booming, economic booming all around the world came with the scarce of material, materials such as ivory, such as turtles, shell, and then we, damn decided to make plastic. So the first synthetic plastic was made out of cellulose, uh, which is coming from plants and trees. And then because demand was increasing, we decided to make a synthetic plastic out of natural gases, crude oil, and coal. And you guys know that these three motherfuckers are the first contributors to climate change, all right? To greenhouse gases, if you wanna say it that way. So by the same way of thinking, plastic is contributing a lot in greenhouse gases emission, from cradle to grave, like from its production or extraction to the uh, its end of life, or even from cradle to cradle, like in the life cycle of plastic is still contributing a lot in greenhouse gases emission right and that is linked to climate change and then you may tell me I don't care about climate change I'm not great at Thunberg I don't really believe in those stuffs yada 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 but let's take a look on some statistics all right so statistics are saying that uh, 1 million drinking bottles are purchased every minute can you imagine like 1 million plastic drinking bottles are purchased every minute Oh, sorry, I was reading. And up to 5 trillion single plastic bags like these ones are used every year. And that's just insane because you know what? Half of the plastic produced are designed to be used only once and then thrown away. 60% of the plastic we've been producing from industrial era to now are either landfill or in nature. 60% of the overall plastic we've been producing. Can you imagine that? So that means like only 40% are sort of recycled or let's say they can identify where they are and their impacts. 60% are literally sort of lost or landfill and that's just huge okay so you guys the overall quantity of plastic we're producing every year is like 300 million tons and if you don't want to imagine what is 300 million tons it's like the overall weight of human beings on earth <laughs> ridiculous yes. like two. africa america europe asia together all the humans together you put them on a weight scale right right you put all of us on the weight scale is the exact weight of the plastic we're producing every year oh my god so that's insane to the level that future archaeologists when they're going to be digging in the soil you know to find like uh what was the trace of anthropocene era which is now they're not going to be finding dinosaur skeleton or pyramid or stuff like that they're going to be finding plastic bags it's just a shame oh really But you know what? The whole topic was about Japan, so let's just go back to Japan. And you may ask me, why Ella, are you talking about Japan? Just talk about your country. I'm talking about Japan because it's my second country, okay? Haters, haters, look at, he yeah, it's my country. Haters, I see you, I see you, you, I see you. I don't speak Japanese though. Not yet. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Come on. That's mental people, man. Why you have to do this when you can just do this? We have here simple avocado and avocado. One fully wrapped plastic thing, useless, and one just free. So why? Why? Yeah, dummy, dummy, dummy. Yeah, progress. Then suddenly, why? For this mango is just too much. I feel like crying because we have like one plastic and then they put in another one. Why though? <laughs> See what's funny? They give you two options. You have the same item, one in a plastic bag, right? And another one with a price tag and no plastic bag. So you choose. Be an eco consumer. Jesus is Lord! What? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my God. 
プラスチックバッグはいくらですか。プラスチックバッグ。五円になる。五円。いらないです。いらない。六百五十五円ですね。Funny thing is that almost everyone, almost everyone here is having a reusable bag. That's just amazing. So in Japan, each person consumes about 300 to 400 plastic bags every year, which means in average you consume one plastic bag a day. And that's just too much, I know. So in case you're still saying that plastic is not really directly related to you, it's more related to climate change and stuff like that, stuff you don't believe in or you, you may or may not believe in, let's take a look at other statistics, okay? Unfortunately, plastic has been found in more than 60% of seabirds and 100% of turtles that confuse plastic with their own food. Also, plastic has been found in more than 114 aquatic spaces. And guess what? More than half of those spaces end up on our dinner plate. So National Geographic is saying that there are always tiny bit of plastics in the food, or in the shellfish or in the fish that we eat. Unfortunately, the chemicals that we find in plastic, some additives or everything they use to make it up, they have some negative consequences on health. For example, they can be endocrine disruptors, which means they can mess up with your hormone functions. They can also interfere with brain development of children and fetus, you know, when you're pregnant and stuff. Yeah. They can also cause cancer and some birth defects in women and men, okay? And many other things that we have not discovered yet, alright? So what's the good news for Japan? The good news for Japan is that the government have decided to reduce by 25% the quantity of single plastic bag that we use every day by 2030, like 2030, okay? So that's why when we go in Gombini right now, Aeon Mall and stuff like that, we are charged for plastic bags and that incentive is just for pushing us to use less plastic bag because we, you don't want to spend money on like I don't know about you but I don't want to spend money on that the thing to do is going with your reusable bag in the company that's one thing and for all the fruit and stuff that they are selling uh, in single plastic package please avoid buying that avoid that just buy the things that are sold uh, on vrac I don't know how to say on vrac you know on vrac <laughs> You guys, you guys learned some French, oh yeah, come on! Come on, attends, attends, je vais chercher comment on dit en vrac. Pas en anglais, ma race. Buy the ones that are in bulk. Because you're also helping the Japanese government to reach the goal, you know. Not only the Japanese government, but also protect your health. As I said before, many people don't do anything about plastic because they think, oh, I just don't care, it's climate change and all these stuff are not just related to me. But it actually has consequences on our health, whether we feel it or not, because we keep consuming tiny bits of plastic every day in our place, even if we don't realize it. So you guys, stop using too much plastic. I beg, I beg, oh. This video was a real quick because I wanted to address the issue that is like oh, on my heart, you know, as an environmentalist and stuff. So yeah, before you don't know, now you know.